Hi, I'm Laura, and welcome back to the Tarot Genie, where you receive intuitive answers from the tarot to your burning questions about business, career, creativity, entrepreneurship, personal development, politics, and more. For this week's inspirational tarot reading, I thought we'd focus on the question of how we can be bring more healing to the planet, to the situation the entire world is going through. It's been challenging for many, if not most of us. And of course, some of us are more blessed than others. I'm, I am in a pretty fortunate situation. I'm not someone who's lost their job or lost a major source of income. There are many people out there suffering. There are people who, who've had health conditions that have to be put on hold because physicians and medical staff are preoccupied with handling COVID-19 cases. So there's just lots and lots of challenges out there. So I thought this week's reading would be focused on you know, what energies are most important to work with, what would be positive, some positive things to work with this week. And to that end, the theme, the significator card for this week's reading is the star, the star card. I chose this major arcana card because the star for me represents, and for a lot of people in tarot, hope. It also represents this woman, this young nude woman, young nude maiden, is, looks like she's replenishing the small pond as well as the earth. We get the sense of renewal and of refreshment and of healing, healing powers presented by this woman. And also the star, the illumination, perhaps some insights that we can glean, that some insights that we can tap into to move forward, to start healing the situation, healing the everyone, everything that has been going on. It's not going to happen instantaneously, but there should be ways that we can all contribute. Granted, we've already been doing many of us, but the star card represents this week's theme of what can we do in our small way as individuals to help heal and move forward from this very dire situation. And also to that end, I did decided this week to choose an angel card, an oracle card. This is from the Archangel Oracle Cards. And I selected this randomly, Clear Audience, Archangel Zatkiel. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Essentially, this card is advising you to be alert, to attune your ear physically and metaphorically to ideas, to insights, especially just using your sense of hearing and whether that in internal voice. When I looked at this card, it reminded me of a time about 18 years ago, or no, maybe it was 16 years ago, where in which I actually woke up one morning and got what it seemed to be angelic ad advice. It was a little voice literally outside my ears saying, no, 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 was telling me not to do, to move forward on a particular decision that I was considering at the time, which proved to be just what I needed to follow. So attune yourself this week to inner guidance, to external, but just attune your ear, as I said, physically and metaphorically. I'm going to choose three cards and they're going to represent mind, body, and spirit, just some insights on how we can empower ourselves and empower others during this challenging time, how we can be a source of renewal, source of refreshment, a source of healing. All right, I'm going to lay out the cards, the three cards. The first card is going to represent mentally what insights can we gather. Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Now when the Ace is upright, it's all, the Aces are all one of my favorite cards in the Minor Arcana because they rep always have, all of them have, this little divine hand that's coming out of the ethers, a little in the midst of a cloud and offering something. It's presenting something to you. Now what's interesting is this is reversed. So say mentally, I say that this, or I feel intuitively that this is advising you that just consistent with this Archangel card, that inwardly you may receive some information or some insights 
on a new opportunity, whether in career, financial opportunity, something that will help you move forward. So mentally focus on maybe taking some time to really think or some quiet time and you may receive a flash you know, deep within your very being of an opportunity that can be presented. Now this is interesting to me especially as I think about it because just this past week a few days ago a similar opportunity came not so much within my own mind but externally through a particular email that I received about an opportunity, a particular area of interest I've always had that appears to have some tremendous potential, great potential, and I'm really enthused about it. And so I've been internalizing and really thinking about that the past few days. I did sign up for this particular opportunity and so I'm going to move forward with it. So this it just reminds me of that because that just literally came a few days ago. So think, say, take some time to reflect and see if you can't tune in to some, some new opportunity, something that you, that's just presents itself to you. That's what's saying in terms of helping you move forward, helping us all move forward. Times are just financially challenging for many people. The next card, physically. Oh, wow. What can you do? Now, this card has popped up many times, this image, the Ace of Wands, this minor arcana card ace of wands has popped up recently in several of the readings i've been doing both personally and here on this channel and what it's saying and what it said before what i gathered from it intuitively is that physically look for some new type of activity that will set you on fire wands relate to fire wands relate to passion and purpose it's suggesting since this isn't this is an ace that you know be alert to something new that you can do physically to help strengthen your moon, immune system etc so just be alert it's it's suggesting that something new is going to come its way to you and be presented to you as an opportunity and this reminds me as well that it's not so much a new activity i do I do been doing yoga for many, many years, and I've also jumped on the trampoline. And recently though, past few weeks, I renewed or I started doing some new routines on the trampoline. So it's basically new to me. So it's like presenting a new energy and a new enthusiasm, a renewal of enthusiasm for this particular activity. So it may not so much have to be brand new, but just bringing a new energy to whatever you're doing physically. And finally, mentally, or I'm sorry, not mentally, spiritually, wow, the major arcana card, the Hierophant. Now, how apropos as far as from the spiritual dimension, because the Hierophant is, of course, a pope-like figure, a leader in the church, traditional church, who has several like acolytes or these monks before him, Kind of in adoration or in admiration because he is the authority figure giving his blessing on something what this is presenting to me or suggesting as far as this whole focus on how we can all pull together and be healing forces is to look to perhaps your spiritual roots look to also this card reminds me a lot because they've got the two pillars these two columns there's a lot of structure in the card, in the image. And he's got this red robe expressing passion. So we've got that energy and this benediction sign. So look, what it's suggesting to me is that perhaps look to your roots, look to a, or creating a structure that will help move you forward spiritually, that will strengthen and give you a strong spiritual foundation. That's what I feel that the Hierophant is suggesting. Let me see if there's anything else in this image. It just seems to me a very solid message saying to sit down, reflect, and really tune into creating a spiritual structure for yourself. And it doesn't mean you have to go to a particular church per se, but it's you know, how 
to really tune in and create a solid spiritual foundation to your life. That's what seems to be coming to me now. As always, I like to recommend a book to go along with the theme of the reading, which is this focus on healing this week, and both for ourselves, our families, and for others, and how to be healing presence, healing force. I love this book. I think I've presented it before. It's called Journey to the Heart, Daily Meditations on the Path to Freeing Your Soul by Melody Beatty. And she's written a lot of books. One of the most most famous one she's written or well known is called Codependent No More. What I like about this book, and you can see I've had it five years since May 2015, it's already falling apart because I reread it and reread it every day. There's a message for every single day. There are some really powerful exercises in here that can help in a healing situation. And for this week's recommended music selection, I chose and I will post the link to the music video for Elton John's song called Healing Hands. It's just so appropriate for this reading and it's just an inspiring, moving song. Love Elton John. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And I do private readings. You can find information about that at my website, thetarotgenie.com. But until next time, remember, illumine your mind, inspire your life with the tarot.